Hello goat lovers, Crystal here with Blue Cactus Dairy Goats and today we have to disbud some goats. It is that time where they're getting their little nubs growing so we got to get it done. Definitely not my favorite thing to do but it is a necessity for show goats so we're going to show you how to do that. So for starters guys this here is called a holding box. Um, this is the lid to it but we used to use this um, when we first started disbudding and I I actually do it a different way now but many people like it so I just thought I would point it out now it's literally you just put the goat inside the box you're gonna put the lid on top and then you sit on the box and the goats head is out here the reason I don't care for the box um, because at the age or at the size of the goat when you need to disbud they are just not and this is the small box and they're just not big enough so I've managed to put a towel at the bottom, but their feet don't even touch the bottom. So I've done that. But the main reason I don't care for the box with their head is so small. And they will pull their head, instead of their head being out here, they're kind of like this the whole time. And their ears are over their uh, little horn buds. So it makes it really, really hard, really, really difficult to get to the area you need to get to. So now we use it for tattooing because by the time their ears are big enough they actually fit in here really well and also <laughs> I use it to check the temperature so of, of these disc butters so come on over here I'll show you which disc butters we use I have two they are both the Reinhardt X30s um, this is the one I started on. This is the Reinhardt X30 and it has the quarter inch pygmy tip. So this is the one I again started on and I didn't feel, I, I you know, I would run into scurs. Not with the does. Does are pretty easy to get their, their, you know, area good and burned so that they don't grow the horns. But the bucks are much harder. So, anyway, so I still have that, this, that's the only reason I have it, and now I just use both, and I'll show you later how I use both. And this, here's the X30 Reinhardt quarter inch tip. So the only difference is, that one's a pygmy tip, and this one is not. And obviously, if you can tell, it has a much larger base that it's going to burn. Which, if you're looking for no scurs, obviously, you want it to be done right, and not have to re disbud It's never a fun thing to do once, let alone twice. So, now, because I have two, I use both. I'll get the larger area, and then I come back in, right in the middle of that area, with this one, which works really well. So, uh, now, what um, to make sure that they're hot, have a piece of wood, you want to see it burn in just a couple seconds, just like that, like super, super hot. And then here for this one, you guys can see it's, it's just, it's really hot. It has to be very hot for it to work. So if it's not hot enough, it's not going to kill those horn cells. So that's going to be what we're going to try to do. So I'm going to go get a goat. And I'm going to show you guys how we do it. Alright, so this is our little buckling here that we're going to disbud. And this is a method I, show, uh, I saw on, on YouTube actually as how to hold them down. And it works better just simply because I can get to where I need to be rather than their head being back in the box like I had mentioned. So I just put a couple towels down. Um, I'm going to not sit on the goat, but I'm going to restrain the goat. So, and they don't like it, obviously. So just very carefully put their legs out, and you're gonna kind of just nail down on them. I am not sitting on the goat, you guys. Like, I'm just holding the goat. Definitely not sitting on them, so just be careful. And then, I'm gonna check the area you need to do. You can cut it with scissors if you want. He's strong. Come here, buddy, I gotta put your head down. Make sure you have a good hold, uh, you know, a good tight hold of them because they are going to move. And you also want to make sure that you tuck their ears back. Don't forget your gloves, guys. So the worst part of this is the restraining. 
Um, they really don't like to be restrained, and I don't blame them. But again, have their ears tucked back. I'm going to use the larger one here first, the quarter inch tip. Give them a little bit of time in between. Knock off that bud. If they're big enough, really, really sharp. Um, most trimmers work really well to just kind of nip that bud off. But. So now I'm going to move over to the other side. guys if you come in close you want that gold ring which obviously it didn't get real well right there it's better on this side do this side again check your iron frequently guys ring. Almost done. Hey. He's more of a screamer than some of them as once it's burnt like now that's good and burnt it's all dead right there if you notice how it didn't hurt nearly as bad the second time so now because I have the two some people will go like this and on the side get the tip but you know it's it's pretty big and you won't you know I don't know you could burn them in another area so because I have both I am now gonna Burn that part. Just notice that didn't hurt him nearly as bad. It's already dead nerves there. You want to give them time in between. You don't want to get their head too hot. Okay, one more time over here, mister. Okay, come here, I know. Again, I hate doing it, but it does not kill them, and it's kind of like one of those things, neutering or spaying an animal, you know, it's just a little bit of pain, and then in the end, it's better they're not going to get their heads caught in fencing and potentially come home to a dead goat that didn't get water for two hours, or, you know, hurting somebody else, they, they hurt each other, 
hurt kids if you have kids, things like that with the horn. So, and these guys go to show homes and you can't show a goat with horns because of all those reasons. They're, they could be dangerous. So we'll take him back in the pen and show you guys how he j still just jumps around. He's going to be just fine, aren't you? He's going to be mad at me for a little bit, but he'll be fine. Okay, let's go. Alright guys, so I hope that helped you out. Again, not my favorite thing to do, but many people do just bud their goats, so that's why we wanted to put the video out, just to help you guys out, um, if you are a family who decides to just bud your goats. So, I will have the um, supplies in the description, so you guys, if you needed to purchase a dehorner as well, you can get it through the link in, in the description. Thank you guys for watching, I got a few more of those to do, so I'm going to get back at it. All right, they're all just fine. That's one, two, three, four. He's still trying to pull my shirt up. You okay? Right, how many did we get? We did six, so. And they are all doing just fine, but they are ready for their for their bottle, so, hey, he was the biggest screamer in the world. Alright guys, well I'm glad that's over with. So now I just have to wait till the other ones get a little bit bigger and have to do it on them, so. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching. Got a lot more work to do. I'm going to get these babies their lunch. See you soon.